good guys it's your boy it's Nick, and i'm back once again with another video bro things are really happening sometimes i'm trying to reason what is wrong with our people by the way have you guys ever seen a hungry man as a freedom fighter or a hungry man being a freedom fighter and eating with the same enemies that are killing their people and trying to take their land from them by the way what is freedom fighter for the first time you know what i'm saying because our people is really demented the way the reason sucks the people that left us in this position is the the ancestors that are sabu to us after they killed our warriors because foolish people grow old too a freedom fighter as i know it is a person that is trying to rescue and restore his or her ancestral land and rescue his people also from sovereign and starvation and this guy is either in exile fighting for this same thing because the land is under occupation or the person is in prison or the person is dead this is a freedom fighter but this ugly idiot guys you know i'm really out of words sometimes because really i'm reasoning too much and what our people is doing sucks it's very weird he's eating with the people that are killing these people you know they are just the same thing anyway so the video you guys are to see right now is Owazulike appointing president prime minister chief of defense staff i mean bro <laughs> you know it's just funny anyway you guys watching the video right now i'm about to place is really funny just like somebody is forcing him to do what he is doing right now okay we give you this money go and do it destabilize these people like someone that is being surrounded with guns that if you did not do this we will kill you all right the video that is coming right now we maybe it will shock some people maybe it will make you laugh i don't know and some other things that they say in that conference was published by punch and which i'm about to read right now before we get in the video hand over eastern security network to eastern governors wazulike tells nandikano ralph wazulike leader of the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of biafra Masol, has warned that Igbos cannot afford another war wazulike spoke at the press conference in Owori. Imo state capital on Monday. He also cautioned leader of the proscribed independent people of Biafra. Independent people of Biafra? Hell no. IPOB. No, is indeed these guys, man. This hell no. I don't know what is wrong with Africans. But let me continue with you. He also cautioned leader of the proscribed independent people of Biafra, IPOB, Nandekano against inciting Igbo youth against the national security agencies. Wazurike won the Southeast to shun Kano's agitation none reports. He described the IPOB leader as a nobody who only wants to put them in harm's way. Those agitating for war know they can't defeat Nigeria but they want to enrich themselves. So they have continued to deceive our youth. Igbos cannot afford to go to another war with Nigeria and at no point should they be incited into hostilities with the rest of the Nigeria. Mobilizing youths against their leaders and constitute authority is what we should guard against because we cannot defeat Nigeria, was Like said. The Masob leader advised the governors to take over the Eastern Security Network ESN to ensure the outfit was not deployed for mischievous purposes. Wazurike suggested that the network be trained and equipped and made to work in synergy with the police and other security agencies. Source Punch. We are about to let the video flow. Our president, we have our prime minister here, we have the leader of the legislature and the, the Chief Justice, these are members of the Executive Council, even myself. Um, we all know ourselves 
and uh, you know the purpose of this organization. The purpose of uh, Team Massol is for the well-being of Ndibu, the well-being of the Africans. We are born in this struggle for the betterment of our people. And at the outset of this struggle, we said that we are going to pursue the issue of Jaffa through non-violence from A to Z, through non-violence. It was on this premise that all our members were registered. But along the line, politicians came in and took away some of these our members, sponsoring them for their own selfish political purposes. We started having divisions. Today, this thing has become a problem. Not only to our members, or to Ndibo in general, and even to Nigeria. We feel disturbed. People continue calling. What is happening? What is happening? Talk, talk. And you see the danger in the horizon. Today, so many people are killed. Not actually by the so-called uh, Fulani Hesmen in Nibo land, but by ourselves. Because if you attract the military into Igbo land, they kill Igbos. They will not kill the Westerners or the Northerners. They kill Igbos. At the end of the day, you find out that we, the Igbos, are the ones killing ourselves. That's mainly the purpose of this exercise. People are worried. I'm worried. I'm more worried because I started this exercise. I recruited every other member of this struggle. So that kissing finger is always on me. I want to say that at no point, at no point will Ndi will go to war with any other tribe in Nigeria. At no point will Ndi will go to war against Nigeria. Nobody will push our people into another facilities in Nigeria. We have encountered a situation where the brains of our young ones now have been bastardized. Our young ones do not reason well again. Go to the social media. Our leaders are humiliated, insulted, blackmailed, as if such is the culture of the evil man. We want to say we condemn all this in its entirety. Last time was Obi, even from Enugu to Obi to Olo, who are the people dying? Our people. These people were they killed by House of Fulani or? Fulani has men. This should be a concern to all of us. To all of us. Because the future is blink as far as the Igbo race is concerned. You see some, someone who is not even in Nigeria dictating what happens in Nigeria, mobilizing. They use through internet to insult their leaders, to destroy lives and property. 
and to hang the hopes of Mbibu in despair. Now nobody sleeps with his eyes closed. People are threatened. The Ohanes and Bibu, no respect. The governors, no respect. Prominent Igbo citizens, no respect. Threats everywhere. Those doing this thing know that they are going nowhere with it. They know that there is no way they could or they can defeat Nigeria, even if there is a war to borrow money. They know. But they foment trouble in order to enrich themselves for their own personal interests. So I want to urge you that all hands must be on deck to see that this development is dipped in the board. So far, some governors have tried to stamp their foot on the ground to see that sanity prevailed. The river said, this on weekend, stood his legs on ground. I congratulated him that time. I supported him that what he did was right. Because we cannot allow anarchy to prevail. In a look the other day, Hope was Odima stood his grounds. I congratulate Hope was Odima for the way he solved the issue of war. I urge all the Southeast and South South governors to take the cue to make sure that the Southeast and South 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 will not be turned into a state of war. I urge all other governors, we must have the goal, we must recognize our leaders, whether you believe it or not. I don't relate to Tohanese, but I respect them as the past speak or mouthpiece of Ibo, Ibo, Ibo race. There must be a leader. I don't relate with even the, so, uh, the uh, Southeast governors, but I respect them. They are the elected officers of the people. They don't denigrate Ohanese and Ibo. He denigrated the governors, all the leaders. Are we living in a state of anarchy? Then you bring in the military to start shooting our people. So many people are killed without records. Then the person is in either London or America, in his comfort zone with his family. How do you explain this? I'm here. I started this struggle over 20 years ago. I have never left Nigeria. I, suffer, I have suffered more humiliation than any other person. I have suffered more attacks than any other person. I have suffered more threat to life than any other person. But I have not left. I know the consequences of asking the youth to attack the military, to attack the police, to burn uh, 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 police uh, uh, houses or offices. Because if they do it, they will arrest me. I may be killed. But this person now is not nowhere to be found. Because if he's in Nigeria, he will never do that. He's doing today. When he was here, he never did it. Please, I'm begging you all, we should embark on this project to save humanity and to save the future of our children. Because the way things are going now, there is a serious problem for us.
Not that anything will happen. The person involved is a nobody. I recruited him. I brought him up. I know his capacities. He's a nobody. He's a nobody, as in the word nobody. But he is inciting our youth, using their brains, and bringing them into death trap, into harm's way. So many people are killed. Anywhere anything happens good, I encourage it. Do you understand it? I anywhere anything, any bad thing happens, I condemn it. Anybody can say anything he likes. Even the other day, when uh, there was a problem between Okorosha and the uh, Rogers, I said, I, I congratulated um, Hopus or them, sorry, between Hopus or them and uh, Rogers. The, I congratulated Hopus or them because nobody should take the resources of a state as its own personal uh, property or uh, the governance of the state as its own family governance. So if you go there and steal the property of the state, and I will congratulate anybody that wants to get it out from you. I'm not part of the system, but I, I say what is right. So what I'm saying today against Namdekano, I will say it against any other person that causes the death of our people. If he changes tomorrow and starts doing the right thing, I will welcome him and say, congratulations. So please, gentlemen, we must always learn to uphold the culture of evil land, of evil race. Respect our leaders, even if they are so wrong, we caution them. But we mustn't insult or denigrate them. In Nigeria today, every tribe talks about uh, their, their sons and daughters being the president. There's no, nothing wrong if uh, the people say they want to be president. It doesn't stop us as being myself from pursuing the cause of Biafra. If an Igbo man becomes the president of Nigeria, it doesn't stop being myself from talking about Biafra. We still we, we, even we want Biafra more than anything there. But our asking for Biafra can never stop Ndibu or usurp their right of seeking uh, or, or asking for president in Nigeria because they are voting for others. Others should vote for them. It doesn't mean that if I say today, oh, uh, people should ask for their president or whatever right in Nigeria, that I'm leaving or by pocketing or discharging my obligations as the leader of Biafra or Maso. But when once you talk about some renegade somewhere you, say, you are a saboteur, they are this, they are giving you money, blah blah blah. What for? Any woman that speaks anything is also full and wife. Uh, he had to put over. <laughs> All this nonsense. Please thank you gentlemen. Thank you.